Bucky Boys Podcast. It cannot be a coincidence on why so many people are having a difficult time having kids. I know so many people mm. that's going through rounds of IVF oh, wow. in vitro. It, in the U.S. or just around the world, like globally? Personally, most of my friends are in the U.S. Okay. Yeah. And I know so many people going through rounds of IVF where they can't have babies on their own, where they've tried for years. Damn. Years. I have family and friends that tried. And uh, they, and I feel bad because I know these people would be all of these people I think would be great parents mm -hmm. and, they, and they're having such a difficult time having kids to the point where they're going through like their fourth round of in vitro, Jeez. fifth round. And even if it is a successful embryo that develops, they end up having a miscarriage after a wow. few months. And that even, I think that hurts even more. Imagine having that hope and you're actually successfully pregnant and you're excited. Yeah. And after a few months, you know, you have a miscarriage. I mean, that I feel so, you know, that's I a sad terrible. reality. I, feel I like think, the, but I think that has to do with something in the air or the water or the mm -hmm. diet. Mm -hmm. There has to be something that's going on, because why all of a sudden are so many people having a hard time having yeah. kids? Whereas back then, when I was growing up, you breathe on someone too hard, they get pregnant. <laughs> you know, that's how I mean? easy it was. There was like pe people were getting pregnant left and right when I was a kid. Mm -hmm. yeah. Everybody was showing up to school pregnant. Like, what, what is going on? You know what I mean? It's, it's 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 strange. Yeah, I it's, feel like seven, strange. eight years ago when you first when I first heard of IVF, I was like, oh, what is this thing? But now it's so common. It's so common. It almost feels like is this, is this like a fifty. So 50 you know, thing? so you know people that's also I've heard of it. IVF. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Why is that? I mean, why do you think it's so bizarre? I mean, I have no idea, but I I think it's a lot of that stuff. It could be. I don't know if it's a, I don't know if it's lifestyle. I don't know if it's diet. Like it, I have no idea. That's interesting. You said it's scary lifestyle. though. That's an interesting. You said lifestyle before because I was thinking, maybe it isn't the food per se. It could be because people are having kids later in life. So there's that a, too. there's a possibility. That's also a, that you know because you're you're older and then you're trying to have kids. There's a, there's a higher risk of you know uh, you know uh, instability in, in conceiving right. So it's 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 interesting because uh, have you guys ever uh, read the book Freakonomics or watched the show? Yeah. So pretty much they they um, they were trying to equate the rising crime to abortion laws in the U.S. Mm -hmm. So when the when they were fighting abortion laws, there were a lot more babies um, and, and and banning abortions in certain uh, areas of the country. There were a lot more babies being born without, you know, uh, uh, with single mothers uh, or single parent households. So those had a, so those babies grew up to have a higher chance of actually being criminals. And then you see like 20 years down the line, you see a, a, a uptick in, in rising crime. So that that's, you know, this is interesting that you see like the trends that, that, that go crazy. about. Yeah, the cause and effect, that. that's cause 20 effect. years, 20 down, years the line. down the line, you know, decades down the line. So you, wow. can, you can look back at maybe uh, laws changed where uh, uh, you know, women started going back to uh, work, uh, going to have corporate, you know, jobs and, 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 and staying in the workforce a lot longer. And that might have caused, you know, the, these, you know, Jeez. IVFs, uh, you know. That's, that's always been in the research. That's why it's like. Yeah. What, you got to get kids they, when you're but 20s. I also, but I also know people that, that are. Yeah. yeah. But I also know that people are. Yeah. We know a few people with freezing eggs. Yeah. Uh, but also. I think there's something in the food because I, I, I knew people that were in their 20s, late 20s, that were trying wow. to have kids that had difficulty, mm -hmm. okay? Um, and didn't they say, and this is scientifically proven, that there were more plastics in our water that we're consuming every day in the air that we're breathing in, in major cities mm -hmm. and in the food that we're consuming, even in food like sushi because of the pollution oh, that we're geez. doing in the water, that these fish are actually eating a lot of these microplastics oh, wow. or breathing it in in the water. And then when we catch them and we eat them, consuming those poisons. Indirectly, you know. we are. You know, right. Chemicals, and, yeah. And because these plastics are not natural for our bodies, eventually a lot of it occurs and it causes um, biological changes within our system. Lucky Boys Podcast.